Cyanide was a very talented player. Um, I'm very excited to see him. I am not too excited about tooling dittos unless they get real high. Um, I've seen this before degenerate I wanna some, uh, to... I want to see some Zero Suit Samus, like Brawl Zero Suit Samus item play. That's what I want to see. Uh, Toon Link's had an amazing... Uh, I want to see the bou bombs bouncing back and forth. It's funny, Zero Suit items were so bad, like a lot of times in doubles, like if there were multiple Zero Suits, they would include gentlemen to just throw them all off. Oh, that is... There was, I was playing three Zero Suits and a Toon Link, and we uh, agreed to just throw them all off. Was that a match? Was it like Wait, was that a real? I don't think so. There's no way that was real. Yeah, I don't think that was real. I think they were just messing around. I think they were just... I hope they I were. I hope so, too. Cyanide's like... Man, that was, that was not even my full power. <laughs> this is not even my final form. Again, uh, go check out Cyanide's uh, cartoon theory stuff. Very, very interesting. Very well done. He's a very smart person. And I really like it, so plug there. Um, here we are jumping in to round one. <laughs> oh no! Was that really the first game? No, he's just no. bad at updating the scoreboard. Okay, okay, the scoreboard has been updated. We were worried. <laughs> yeah, no, that was not game one. Okay, that's oh, so. Oh, did you see cool. the? Yes, so you can do this thing. Slide in the down. The so the. Uh, the one Smash crew has dubbed that the U-turn. You slide back in. The U-turn? Yeah. They use the slide animation to come back slide in. Slide a different Pokemon just like comes in. Yeah. Mm. Like if Pikachu does it, it's the Volt Switch. Yep. I'm about it. Uh, but it's really cool. You can uh, use the momentum from your characters uh, sliding during their turn animation to do uh, certain moves. Uh, a lot of times, tilts, down tilts. Um, Meta Knights is really good, as is Toon Links. Toon Links is really good. Diddy's is pretty good. Luigi can do it really well with Down Smash. Yeah, not surprised. It looks real weird, and I love it. I found that out like mid-tournament, and I just oh my god, uh, that platform. I feel like we're a seeing bit. a lot of martial Toon Link play right now. I love it. Like they set something up when they have the time for like a corner pressure, but. Other than that, they're just going in and swinging at each other. <laughs> I guess, uh... Oh! Yeah, I guess uh, camping against your own character isn't too effective. Um, especially if you know how to take apart someone's camp. That's, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them broke and started going for it if you sign it. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, Toon Link, at, like, especially at low percent, doesn't have super damaging long strength. So like it's okay to like throw out if you throw out a grab and you miss it, you know, you might take like a, a bomb and then a follow-up. Which is still like a good chunk of damage, but like you do that versus Cloud and he's gonna like landing up air you and take you for like a sixty percent ride or something like that. Yeah. Uh very I think a lot of matchups are determined by how well uh certain characters can punish like certain options. So like tether characters, like honestly like, Sheik is totally doable against, like, Zero Suit or something like that. Because if you miss a grab, then what? You just get hit for a few percent, you lose stage control, and then you, you just, you know, down to the middle of the stage again. Yeah. Uh, but, like, if you miss Limit versus someone like Cloud or Ryu, something like that, that's, that's a different yeah. world, right? And you have to play completely different. DK, fun. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> we see Cyanide just jumping in there. A little aggressive. What uh, happened? Uh, cyanide, we, cyanide, no. No, we take those, Cyanide. Don't shake your head. We take those. That's, uh, that's also one of the hardest lessons I've learned in Smash. I was taught it by one of the smartest people I've ever met in my life. His name is uh, Zach Ellisk or UTD Zach, and he explained to me that when an opponent SDs, uh, that it's unfortunate, but you have to respect it for what it is. And what it is is at that moment in time, uh, 
you had better control over your character than your opponent had of theirs, and that made you a better player in that time and instant. And you have to take those, and that is a win. And that mindset has been really interesting for me, because like when I SD and I like lose a set, I'm not like, oh, if I wouldn't have you know, suicided, then I would have won. It was, I couldn't control my character where I needed to, and they were a better player because they could at that time, and I have to accept that loss. That's a really, really good way to think about it. I know, right? Like, I was like, God, is that you're just so smart. Please that, come uh, back. Yeah, that's definitely a growth-inducive thought. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Uh, so just a little bit of wisdom there. Um, we take those. <laughs> Long story short, we take those. Um, so going into the game two with Cyanide lead, He's got his jump yeah. Good save there. I really liked the the thing that Lucy was going for there, trying to punish maybe an air dodge with that uppy. But um, so right now we're seeing a lot of fair or bombs into fairs miss. There's uh, something that a lot of people don't realize about all projectiles in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, good turnaround. Uh, it's that projectiles combo harder the further away you throw the item. Um, because if you think about it, if you throw a bomb uh, and you're really close range, when the bomb hits them, you're like still at the in lag of your throw. Right, okay, I see what you're saying. But if you throw it from far away, by the time it's like halfway there, you're done and you can start running, you can move. And if it hits them, you don't, you're, uh, their hit stun is not overlapping with your aim. Right. So, uh, so a lot of these really close bomb fares are missing uh, simply because they're just too close. Um, I imagine that they will work at some percents, but there are a lot of situations with Diddy's Bananas, especially with Zero Suit Paralyzer. Like, Zero Suit Paralyzer, if she neutral beats you with no charge. Oh my goodness. That was uh, really cute. Uh, but if Zero Suit Paralyzes you with no charge, face up, she, she can barely do anything. Uh, but if she catches you from far away, like at the end, like she can come and up beat you. It's just like a completely different world. Um, at least he got in a pretty good lead here. <laughs> and then just gets forward smash and neutral. Cyanide is really um, loving that upbeat. But I feel like the risk reward is not great. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that move's kind of trash. Let be real. I mean, use what you got. It's I better than that. some other bad moves, but it's not great. Not my favorite. Yeah. To be honest, I've almost never found a move that is completely unusable. There are some things that are super questionable. Like, I don't think Ganondorf needs neutral B and up tilt. I think no. if he just had one of them, like, he would be totally fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, both of them are awesome shield break punishes. Yeah. But, uh, the hardest part is picking which one. I know. You deliberate for too long, you don't get either. To, to be honest, it's usually just reverse Warlock Punch, and I guess you can kind of do frame people with up tilt. But oh, it does. It has huge... That lava kick explodes. Yeah. So even there, like, we see, like, terrible moves will have some niche in general. There are just, like, some tilts that are, like, almost never used. Like, I, I have Dude, a hard... hammer. This chargeable Neutral. hammer. Neutral B? Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's really good in tech situations, especially near the ledge. But I could totally be wrong. I might just be thinking it's PM, because that's what I do to people in PM. <laughs> but it's way better in PM. Oh my I god, that like, move uh, is nutty. If you put them in a tech situation where the ledge is down smash, that'd just be better. You know what that's called? Cool. Boom and strap. That's a brawl hammer. You down throw them, uh, and they go by the ledge, mm -hmm. and you just charge down smash. That is a super old brawl turn that you don't even don't worry about remembering. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday to Brawl! Oh yeah, it's a ten year anniversary. Yeah. Uh, Lucy, being a brawl player, uh, very well vetted player. Um, a lot of the Houston guys helped me get better. I I don't know if they felt the same way, but I really felt like. Uh, Lucy and Illmatic were like right at my skill level and they were like really great practice. Uh, pushed me to get better. Um, and Germ too. I like Germ a lot. The Houston people, some Houston people are like so awesome. Why are there so many Toon Links in Houston? Dude, I, I do not know. That is, uh, 
one thing we are not lacking in Texas. We have so many. plenty of talented teams. You have to talk about all the brawl players you named like 22 names. Yeah, yeah, German. Germ, MJG, Lucy. Was he just, he was just called Shadow PJ back then. Hmm. I wonder why he changed his tag to Lucy. I, in my heart, my deepest heart, it would be because of One Piece. Um, Lucy and One Piece thing? Yeah. Um, so the main character's name is Luffy. Right. And he entered the tournament disguised as a guy um, named Lucy. Oh. Well, that's the best, you know, that's the best, like, anime lore tag. <laughs> Wait, is the loser not like super weeby? No, it's not like I'm entering as Goku. I'm just... Oh my god. There's there's another layer there. I'm perfect cell. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's gonna be it. Uh, they're blowing it out. I dig it. So, uh. Houston team kill. Getting in, uh, going into. Winners finals? It wasn't a total you know, team kill. You put them in a loser. It's still, yeah. Yeah, so Lucy moving into winners finals, which was good. He was seeded top three, so that was very close to his seeding. Um, I think he's seeded top three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. I think I put him up there. Uh, and then next we have Lima versus the very handsome man, uh, Dakota Good. We, we colloquially really. What? Refer to him as Big Brain Dakpo. Big Brain Dakpo. I have so many wrinkles in my brain. Yeah. It's. It's. Um, need to go? Or you need to find someone? Okay. Okay. It's uh, comparable to that of Hugs86. <laughs> oh my god. Do I need to shave my legs on the screen? Ooh. Is that what you guys want? <laughs> I need to shave my Dakpo legs on the screen? I don't know. Is that what the people want? I don't know. Let me hear it in chat. What do you guys want? Press 1 if you want to see Dakpo shave his legs on.